Hello, and thanks for watching this field services demonstration for Acumatica, brought to you by Cloud9 ERP Solutions. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an inbound sales email and we're gonna create a contact out of it. And with that contact, we're going to create a quote, a field services quote. Then as soon as it's accepted by the customer, we're gonna convert it to an order. We'll schedule that order. We'll perform the work in the field, and then we'll generate our invoices. So let's get started. So the first thing you see on my screen is Microsoft Outlook. And I received an email from a customer where they want a price for a router and they want it installed and programmed. In Outlook, Acumatica has a plugin. And that plugin, if we take a look at this email here, gives us the ability to search for this user to see if this user exists in Acumatica. It doesn't. But then based on that, it gives us the ability to create a lead out of it or a contact. In this case, I'm gonna create a contact out of it. And it picked up my first name, last name, based on the display name. I can say this person is the IT director, maybe. I can give them a company name if I know who they are with, so maybe Gmail link and where the source of this came from. So maybe from the web. So I'll create this contact. And now in Acumatica, this was quickly created. So this contact is in the system. The next thing I can do is create an opportunity, a sales opportunity for this person. So I'll create that opportunity. The subject is router. I can change this though if I need to. The stage will stay at prospect. We'll take a look at that in a moment. The amount the estimated amount for this, maybe I'm just giving it a guess at this moment, is $750. Later, the opportunity details can drive that amount. So let's create the opportunity. And then even from within Outlook, I can jump right to the opportunity right from here or to the contact. So let's click on View Opportunity. This will bring me into Acumatica. Now the opportunity is opened. We're gonna assign this to an existing customer that we know is in our system called Boulder Couriers. I can continue to track activities on this opportunity to keep my sales manager happy. Maybe I'm pricing the router. And now what I wanna do is create a service quote. So with this service quote, I'm gonna add my line items. So the first thing I need to do is install the router. I can type a few letters here to look it up quickly. Acumatica brings over the estimated duration. And the next thing I'm gonna do is, this is part of a data center, so I'm going to do my data center installation, which is estimated as six hours. Now the next thing I want to do is add our router. The tech is going to be taking this router in the field with him or her to install it. There's going to be one of them at $500. Now we can print this out. And the customer, we can email it out to them. So whatever their email address is for this customer would be put here. I could put my subject and body and my signature would show up here. We could send this out. And then once we get acceptance of this, we can convert it to an order. So here's our pending service order. Now, you notice the preferences here. Depending upon your service order type, we have a ton of different preferences. One of them could be waiting for purchased items. If we take a look at this router, currently there's none in stock. However, that's not holding up the scheduling of this appointment. Ordinarily, that's a decision you would make, maybe to hold up the scheduling based on the availability of the stock. In this case though, what I am going to do is I'm gonna mark this for a purchase order and I'm going to create my purchase order and get this item in stock. Now this is a standard purchasing screen. 
This shows all of the purchase orders that need to be created. In this case, it's filtered by that particular service order. Otherwise, you can do these in mass. So what we'll do is we'll create our purchase order. And this purchase order will be taken off hold. And we happen to have approvals turned on, so this is requiring an approval. I'm the admin, so I'm going to approve it for myself. And then at this point, we go through the purchasing process. We won't go into too much detail on this, but suffice to say, we would email out the purchase order, and then once the items came into stock, we'd go through our normal receiving process. We're going to shortcut that by entering our PL receipt and receiving this in. So now we have one in stock and now we'll go over to our service order and we'll schedule that service order. So from this point in time we're in our service order and you'll notice that we now show quantity one on hand. Let's go into our calendar board to schedule this. And what you can see here is the two service items that are showing up and we could schedule these services accordingly. So the first thing is, is we have some options here. Notice we have the technicians along the top, people that can be scheduled, and the time along the bottom. But we can change our view to week view if we want to. So we can see more days along here. I'll switch that back. Or if we hit this button here, we can see our service personnel on the left hand side and our timings across the top. And again, I can switch to week view to see more of a number of days that I want to schedule this out. So let's go back. And we also have the ability to filter. So what I can do here is I can say, okay, well, I only want to see the people that can do this particular type of work. So for example, one of the items was installation of a router. Well, maybe only certain people can do that kind of work, maybe a network administrator, for example. And when we check this and filter, Acumatica gives us only the people that can do that. So I'll schedule this with this gentleman. And now you can see this appointment is scheduled. It's green because it's confirmed. And then we'll remove our filter. Now we'll schedule the installation for Maxwell Baker. About the same time we'll start. And now you can see they're both scheduled. The data center is about a good six hours, whereas the programming is just an hour. So we'll close this. So back to our service orders, we can see the appointments that are set up and scheduled. We can see that they're not started. If we open up any one of them, we can do things like send out an email confirmation to our staff member who's going to be performing the service. We can also shoot an email out to the customer. These kinds of actions can be scheduled on a regular basis. Additionally, we support push notifications. So on the mobile app, the staff member would get a push notification knowing that they're scheduled. So let's go over to our mobile app and let's take a look at what a staff member might see. So here's the Acumatica app and you can see I'm already ready to log in, but Acumatica supports face recognition or the thumbprint any of the local hardware you may have on your phone device. So let's log in. And you can see when we come into our mobile screen, and you can see these are all of the screens that we have access to based on our rights in Acumatica. So I'm logged in as the admin, so I have all the rights. But I'm gonna go down to my appointments And I can see my one appointment is here, 62982. You can see it over here on the web. 
This is the one I'm assigned to. I'm assigned to the second one. I'll open it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to view my appointment on the map to see how do I get there. And there's my map. I can click on directions. And you can see it's going to take me a little while to get there. 27 hours by car. So I might want to get started. I'll go back to my appointment. And now I've arrived. I'll come over here and I'll start the appointment. Acumatica will keep track of when I start and stop so that I know my actual time spent on this appointment. So now I'm performing the work. I can see my descriptions of what I need to do. I could put comments in here. Most on-site technicians won't really type in a lot of information about the work they're performing. However, if you give them the ability to dictate their comments, then you'll find you'll get a lot more detail as to what work has been performed in the field. So you can see that's very helpful because now you'll be able to dictate in there. Additionally, while I'm performing the work, I can take a picture. In this case, I'll take a picture of the screen, which looks kind of cool. And I'll attach it. On top of that, I can sign off on this ticket. I could either sign off on it, or the customer can, or both. And now when it's all said and done, I can mark the appointment complete. Okay, so that's my first appointment. If I refresh here, you can see Acumatic has updated it. If I go back to my calendar board, you can see the color has changed for this one, noting that it's confirmed, it's completed, and now we're in processing phase. So you can see these appointments update as and when they need to. So let's go into this appointment through the web. And once again, we'll start this appointment and we'll also complete it. Now this appointment's completed and I'll close it off. I'll also close off this appointment. And now both of my appointments are closed off. Additionally, from these appointments, you can see any file attachments. As we talked about before, here's the picture and the signature. And now we're ready to invoice the service order. So from this service order, and these are all preferences as to how you want to queue these up for approvals and taking them to the next step. So in this case, this service order auto closed because all the appointments closed. And then also based on my order type, my service order type, I'm requesting that the system invoice at the appointment level. This is very helpful in some situations because some appointments you may do over the course of several weeks. And that being the case, you may want to get out an invoice for this particular appointment while this one's still scheduled a few weeks out. Now we can do this at the appointment level. So if I open up the appointment, I can generate my invoice from here, but most of the action screens in Acumatica can be configured through a process screen. So if I go back over to services and I generate my invoices from appointments, and to make it easier, I'll filter by my customer. Now we can see these two appointments and all the detailed information. So what I'll do here is I'll process all of them.
and my invoices are generated. So that's it. We started off with an email that came in from a prospect that wanted a price on some work to be done. We created an opportunity. We sent them a quote. They approved it. We created a service order, scheduled the appointment, went out and actually did the work. I had a lot of driving to do to get to Denver. We completed the work and generated our invoices. So that's Acumatica's field service. That's just a taste. There's a lot of different flexibility. Schedule your demo with us today and we'll perform a demo specifically for your business. Thanks very much for watching.